Hey guys, and here's another tutorial for Motion 5, and we're going to be doing some um, basic motion tracking, and also some keying and filming against the green screen background. So, here's the final effect of what we're going to be creating here. It's um, your fingers moving around on the, uh, on, the, on, on the screen, and we've got these light beams which are kind of attached to them, and you can see we've got this background here as well. So... I'm going to take you through step by step how I actually um, created this. So let me turn off some of these uh, filters that we've added already. And you'll see what we basically started with. And here, okay, so this is what we started with. This is our um, film here of uh, my fingers moving around. I'm just going to turn off the audio layer on this. So this is the, um, the film, filmed against the green screen background. You can see my fingers moving around. And uh, you'll notice that we've got these black dots on the end of each finger. These black dots are going to be our track points. So when we actually filmed this, I just got a marker pen. I drew these black points onto the, my fingertips. And these are the, the points that our software will be able to latch onto and track as they move around the screen. So you've got to make sure when you do this filming that those points always remain in view. So you see I'm very careful here with my thumb. I try and keep the camera angles um, so that it's always in view because if that uh, point goes out of view then it won't be able to track it anymore. Um, I'm also quite careful as well not to move the fingers too quickly so that the computer can actually track those points um, if you want some fast movement, you can always speed up the video later. So it's better to film it a little bit more slowly so we can track those points. I found that when I move my fingers around quickly, we had some difficulties keeping uh, the tracking on those points. So that's just a little tip for you there. And you see we filmed it against the green screen background. You try and eliminate as much shadow as you can when you do this filming against the green screen. You see we've got some shadow down here. But we were able to fix that shadow when we do the keying later. But you try and avoid these shadows as much as possible. So be careful with your lighting. And I'm holding my hand not too close to the green screen. So I don't get too much of a shadow effect. And that's what we've got. Um, so once you've got your video and you've imported it into here. We are then going to add the motion analysis to each one of these points. So um, I've done previous tutorials on this. But... Pretty much you just go over to behaviors, motion tracking, analyze motion, and you drag analyze motion over onto our video. So then in our inspector, if we go to the analyze motion, you'll see here, we've added five track points, one on each finger. And then you hit the analyze button and it will analyze the movement of each one of those track points. And you get this track here, this trail. And this is what we are going to follow with our lines. So uh, once we've done that, I then drew in my lines. So you just draw them and, uh, um, from each point you know, and join them up however it is you wish to join them. And then we add a track motion, uh, track points to each one of these lines. So again, that's found in your library, but it's under shape, not motion tracking. And we have track points. So you drag that and drop it onto each one of these lines. And once you have that there, you see here then there's two control points. Control point one and control point two. Those are our two points. So the start and the end of the line. And we choose where we want to track those. So in this instance, we're going to anchor control point one to track point one, which is our thumb. And control point two will be anchored to track point four, which is our fourth finger here. One, two, three, four. The other thing we want to do in the transform is attach to source because we want to attach those control points to our motion track points. So we um, repeat that for every single one of the lines. You can also see I've added a glow filter here as well. That gives the line a bit of a bit of a glowing effect like it's a laser beam or something and uh, we do that for all five of our lines and then when you play it you'll see you've got this effect already it's pretty 
easy to do, our lines will stick to our finger points and move around. Now, what you could also do if you wanted was be turn off the movie background, and then you've got this kind of cool effect of these lines moving around there. So, you, uh, you may want to use your video as the motion controller for animating another object, for example. And then later on, you will turn off that video feed because you don't need it because you're going to animate this object on the screen. Um, so you can use motion tracking not only for an effect like this where we are compositing the two together, you might also use it just to create a moving um, organic kind of motion, uh, type of motion that would be very difficult for you to keyframe or very tedious to keyframe individually. So once we've got that all done, the next thing we want to do is remove the green screen background. This is called keying. So we will go to our library and we will go to our filters and you go to keying and you just drag the keyer over onto our video. And what that will do, if we turn it on now, is pretty much automatically it will key out all of that green. Now. Uh, we had a, a bit of a shadow down there in the corner earlier, and that was causing me some, some problems. If I turn this key off and I drag a new one onto there, you'll see what I mean. Okay, let's just remove that key here and we drag a new one onto there. There we go. So you see we've got this shadow down here, which is not being keyed out. So we want to key that out also. So what we do um, is we go into our inspector for the key and we go to sample color and we'll just sample that section there. There we go. And then you'll see it keys it out also. So once we've done that and then we play it, there is our black background keyed out. So basically what that has done, it's applied a mask around the edge of this shape here and anything in the scene which was that green color has been keyed out or masked out. So now we've done that, it's just a simple matter of adding in our chosen background. And I just took this background from the, um, the stock content backgrounds from uh, that come with Final Cut. This one is called Sudden Impressions. You just drag that over onto your screen, resize it, and make sure that it is underneath our movies layer. If it is above our movie, then of course it's in front of our hand. So you've got to make sure that it is behind our hand. Because remember, you think of Motion 5 as like a stack of cards. Or a bunch of pieces of paper layered and stacked on top of each other that have been cut out. So you've got to make sure your background is on the bottom layer. And each individual piece is then on top. And the final thing I added in, just to give this a more believable effect and also to get rid of a, a mask off the black dots on the ends of our fingers, is the flares. Now, what I've used here for these flares is the M-Flare plugin, available from motionvfx.com. You can also create your own flares, or you could use the flares from the stock content that comes with Motion 5. Uh, I've used this plugin myself because uh, it's uh, very fast and easy way of creating some very realistic looking flares and animating them so they twinkle and glow. And that is pretty much it. There's a very um, quick run through of how to do um, motion tracking and keying using Motion 5 to create this kind of pretty cool effect. So I hope you found this useful. Please like the video. You can also go over to my blog and subscribe to my YouTube channel. To keep up to date with all of my new tutorials on how to use Motion 5 and Final Cut Pro. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.